on, everybody. Here we go. Fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. Hey everyone, Brayden here coming to you with a very special video. As you can see, I'm not on the ground of Walt Disney World. We are above the ground because I am on the Disney Skyliner gondola. You can see a gondola going by right now. Uh, some awesome cast members inviting me uh, to take part in this journey, uh, this preview. They're doing friends and family preview this week of the system. And I want to do a vlog of the opening day, you know, what it's actually like to be there as a normal guest. But I thought this would be a great opportunity to answer some of those questions that people have been having about this system. Namely, how hot is it on the Disney Skyliner gondola? And I have to say, big on it right now, it's pretty drafty, you know, there's a lot of air moving in and out you can see the vents above us are open here um, but it, it, there's some really nice airflow going through here I would say so what I'm going to do is I actually have a digital thermometer we're gonna see what the temperature is and I would say so far I would think it's cooler than outside a little bit uh, we'll see how it is so as you can see right now we are coming up on the TTC of the gondola uh, which is the Caribbean Beach station where all the different lines connect and as you can see it is currently 85 degrees and 50% humidity inside the gondola. Now I know it to be a little hotter outside, so I would say it's like being outside, but like with the windows down. And here we are going down into the Caribbean Beach Station. This is where all the gondolas go after dark or when they're not being used on the sides here. And we are now in the Caribbean Beach Station. Here you go. Woo! Okay, right, top century. All right, everyone, so I just got off at the Hollywood Studios line. That is where you enter for the cast previews. We are now here at the Caribbean Beach Station. And over here, you can see the handicapped loading area where you can see the gondolas are not moving. They are actually stopped. And that's where we have a handicapped guest. Uh, they can load on without the whole thing moving. As you can see when I got off of this uh, gondola right here from Hollywood Studios, it is moving as you're going on the platform. So you do have to sort of get your footing a little bit, uh, but it's a really good look. So now we are in the middle of the station. So over here, you can see the Pop Century Art of Animation station. And then off to over here, we have the Epcot station, which is where we are going to be going next. So as I said, I have this digital thermometer so we can see exactly what the temperature is like inside versus outside and how everything is looking. I, I'm really just curious to know because being on the Skyliner, I can tell you right now, it is not hot. But I almost wonder if the station, if the gondolas weren't running and you were up there for a while, it could get sort of hot. I have to say first impressions, I am very surprised by just how smooth the ride is. Like I thought that you would be kind of bobbing up and down and swinging around a little bit more just based on how things look from the outside with the gondolas. But being on the system, it is really like you are flying. Like it is very, very smooth. Doppelmeyer, the manufacturer for the gondolas, definitely did a really good job there. Another thing that I've heard is uh, some get, uh, cast members have been saying, you know, when it's windy and you're kind of swinging around a little bit, it can be a little uh, nauseating for some people. But the thing is, Disney has those wind altimeters on the top of the, a lot of the gondola poles that are constantly tracking the wind speed so if it does get too windy obviously Disney would stop the system if you have anything with storms Disney would stop the system all those sorts of things so I really don't think that is too much of a concern as of my first test but let's keep testing see what the temperatures are like inside and head over to Epcot so here you have a clock Magic Kingdom monorail station style and then off to each side we have the line for the pop century art of animation this is the Hollywood Studios one we just got off on and then over here we have the Epcot line leading over to the Riviera Resort as well as the turn station bringing you over to Epcot. Alright, boarding the Epcot line, stepping in, woo! I really, uh, I don't know how to describe it. You kind of have to move your leg a certain way to get through the loading there. Now when you board a Disney Skyliner gondola, what they tell you is to have an even number of people on each side there are seats on each side of the gondola so that way the weight is evenly distributed uh, so that way you know you don't have like it sort of angled differently because of course you know the weight distributed on the gondola will determine how it hangs on the line uh, so pretty good weight distribution idea there to make for an even smoother experience and as you can see we just took off from the Caribbean Beach station heading over to Epcot I can see the ride building well, we're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot very soothing narration. Hold on to your straw hats. We are about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. Holy. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club that celebrates the relaxing seaports and romantic vistas of Europe's Mediterranean coast. Here you can see the Riviera station we're coming into right now. Ciao, bonjour, and 
continue. Hello, and welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. If you are traveling to Epcot, please remain on board. So you can choose to get off at the Riviera Station. That is where you are staying. Of course, the Riviera coming soon. You can see work over here. Remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We are now resuming your journey, and we'll stay flight momentarily. Thank you. The line halted for a moment, I suspect, um, to add a additional gondola to the line. Uh, we, it stopped right as we were coming in, so it was a little bouncy, but uh, actually not too bad. So what I have going on right now is we have the digital thermometer uh, calibrating. So we'll see what the temperature is. Right now it is four in the afternoon, so this is a really good time to be doing this test because this is you know, one of the hottest parts of the day, of course, in the Florida weather. So we'll see how that sun is doing. And so as you can see, according to AccuWeather, it is 87 degrees outside. And if we look at the digital thermometer, it is 87 degrees inside and 50% humidity. So uh, actually some pretty good weather, I would say, because it is not hotter in this enclosed contraption, which you would expect, of course, if you left your car out in a parking lot. So in no air conditioning, I would say, these are some pretty good results. Here at the Riviera Station, of course, you can't get off yet because the Disney Riviera Resort is not open yet, but you can see the Skyliner Station is pretty cool. You can see the Mickey Gates there. That is so cool. And the gondolas in the background. Wow, these are some amazing views. All right, we're going for round two. The second part of the Epcot line. Here we go. We just stopped. So right now we're in between the turn station and the Urbia Resort. We are heading over to Epcot and the gondolas just stopped. So this is where the air conditioning will probably help because this is where now we are not moving. So we don't have that passive cooling. So this is the Ladies real test. Gentlemen, the Disney Skyliner has been temporarily delayed. Please remain seated. So we've been waiting up here about three minutes and the digital thermometer now has us at 90 degrees. So it definitely heats up a little bit when the gondola is not moving, but as you can see, we're resuming motion again. So now it's gonna start getting cooler again. I'm not too worried about the temperature, guys, seriously. You really have to be in this in a long, for a long time and with like no ventilation at all. There's these vents too, so even like the wind, you know, there's wind getting in, so I don't think there's really much of a problem there. Something interesting I noticed entering from the Hollywood Studio Station, there's signage that says, with a handicapped guest on board, six people can fit in the gondola, uh, whereas without a handicapped guest, you can fit 10 people in a gondola. Uh, so that is the difference there. So I think each handicapped guest would count as four guests. I assume, I'm assuming if you have like a handicapped guest and three other guests, like a four person family, uh, that would obviously be fine and everyone would fit in. Uh, but I think that's a weight thing with ECBs. Here we have the narration. They are traveling along Buena Vista Drive. They are both named after Buena Vista Street in Burbank, California. And the Walt Disney Company headquarters are still located today. If you're wondering where we are, we are going through the turn station for the Disney Skyliner gondola. A couple weeks ago I made a video about Disney possibly expanding the system if it goes well here, and this would be where you would then go to Coronado Springs or you know some of those other areas that would definitely use this as their hub. Uh, we'd probably have another station next to this one or something of the like if Disney were to expand the system since this turn station is the closest to the middle of the resort as far as getting to those other things on the south side of property Disney might want to connect in the future. Off in the distance you can see the globe over the trees. Coming into view is Disney's Boardwalk Inn. We are coming into Epcot now. This is the real test because, you know, the back of the World Showcase area here was never des really designed uh, for guests to see. So, if how will this look? To visit World Showcase today, now might be a good time to practice your Ola, and Konnichiwa. So now we have a brand new look of the Ratatouille work. Here you can see this giant poster Disney has. 
that says opening summer 2020 Ratatouille. That, so this is the Ratatouille ride building you're seeing here in the go away green color. Now I think Disney is going to plant some trees here so you won't see that from the gondola so much. And then this is all going to be a themed street. So this actually when it's complete uh, will all be you know themed. You can see Disney doing facade work right here. So from the Skyliner uh, this will actually look really nice and not very long. Here we are. The World Showcase, there it is. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. The brand new bag check that has been expanded for the Skyliner gondola. And watch your step. The station looks so cool. That was a bumpy one. All right, everyone, so here's the unload. You can see the beautiful, beautiful theming we have the French inspired look of the International Gateway. Of course, tying in with not only the France Pavilion here, but also the Riviera Resort you pass on the line, on the Epcot line of the Disney Skyliner gondola. When you unload in the distance, you can actually see off towards um, where the Imagination Pavilion, the top of that is, and Spaceship Earth, which are pretty cool. So here we have the gondola going over the International Gateway Station. This grass looks so cool. I, it's turf, you know, it's it's not something that they have to mow, I don't think, but it looks really, really nice. Look at that. This is a beautiful station. So now that we got a quick look at the Epcot Skyliner station, let's get back on the system and head over to Pop Century and Art of Animation. Something I just noticed, look at the theming the Imagineers did on the gutters here, how they're all worn. They have that copper look and then they're kind of corroded, Statue of Liberty style. Such incredible theming. This is the real Disney difference, holy. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Wow. Soon we'll be flying past Disney's Boardwalk Inn. Here we are going on the turn station. Let's take a quick check at our thermometer here. We are at 91, uh, which is about the temperature outside. Actually, the humidity I've noticed is much less on these because I think they're higher and you have all that wind going through. Uh, so definitely something nice for Florida. So everyone, you can see it's pretty windy. You can see my hair moving. There is a lot of uh, air going through these vents right now because it is windy outside. So it is definitely cooler in here than it is outside. Including Walt Disney himself. As you can see, the character gondolas do add a little bit of something to look at, especially when you're going areas like Buena Vista Drive and other areas uh, where you're not so much focused on any particular Disney landmarks when you're sort of traveling between the parks. And in the distance, you can see we have the Disney Riviera Resort with that beautiful uh, sign that actually lights up at night on the hotel itself, on the resort. I really like the turf on the ground. And if you notice at this station, the Riviera Station, you can see the top is actually tempered wood, which is a cool effect. Look how cool the flying is. This is the best part. Going up over the beach. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club. If you are just joining us, we are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. So as far as the sensation of being on the system, I said I really like it. But when you go back down into each station, it is a little rough, you know, like you definitely bounce around a little bit and it's like a very sudden stop. But going up is also really cool. It is very elegant. This is the part that's a little disorienting. You got a step. Thank you. As we were waiting to board the Pop Century Art of Animation line, you can see the bull wheel that runs the entire thing, and you can also see the maintenance bay. Uh, it is four of us. Thank you. There's the load. Woo! All right, let's go. Here you can see me in the reflection of the polarized glass, helping keep those UV rays out, and you can see Porgs on the next gondola over. <laughs> Here we go. Now over here you can notice a stark contrast in terms of things to see. Now this is all protected wildlife area, so that's why it looks the way it is. And over here you can notice this mound by the uh, transfer station, the Coronado Springs one. That um, was all the dirt that they excavated to actually build that station. You guys ready to go over the water?
Now going down on the other stations hasn't been a super enjoyable experience, but I have to say going down over the water is definitely one. <laughs> we are now gliding over the sparkling waters of Hourglass Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. In just a few moments, we will be arriving at the only floating Skyliner station at Walt Disney World Resort. Here at the Pop Century Station, getting back on, heading back over to Hollywood Studios and that line. You can see they have these very cool themed fans For above you. Please remain seated. Supervised children. Narration right here. Smoking in the cabins. Thank you. No smoking in the that cabins, guys. <laughs> If you actually notice, these fans are, they look like propellers, like a boat, and this is a whole aquatic theme for this station, which is like arced like a wave. Uh, so pretty cool effect there. All right. Getting back on. For the last time, actually, no, we still have to go over to Hollywood Studios. Oh, no, we, we're good. All right, everyone. So first impressions of the system here. Um, Temperature-wise, it is the same inside and out, and, and but it does feel cooler because you have all the air going through. So uh, that was a concern you had about it being too hot. Nothing to worry about there, unless of course the gondola stops for a very long time. Um, and Disney has been practicing all sorts of evacuation procedures, even over the water. So anything like that, I don't think will be a big concern. If you do tend to be motion sick and it is a very windy day, uh, that might be an example of something where, you know, if it sways too much in the air and that's not for you, uh, then you might not want to do it. But we haven't really had that experience so far. Here going over the water, some really, really amazing views. And you can see how much wind is going Welcome through. Look at my hair. The Disney Skyliner at Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Right now we are actually on the Tinkerbell Peter Pan gondola and you can see it is even, uh, even less sun is actually getting inside because you have the decal all the way around so it's really covering up like half the window uh, but of course organized throughout so you can still see through it. Uh, so that's definitely good as far as the sun goes which is over here. So I would say um, how high is the Disney Skyliner gondola? The same as outside as we saw with the uh, thermometer there. It's, it's just around the same like if it's 87 outside it's 87 inside, 90 outside, 90 inside. The only time it went a little over outside was was when we were stopped on the way to Epcot uh, for about five minutes. So just something to keep in mind there. Motion wise, it is so nice. It's like you're gliding. So if uh, you're too worried about, I don't want to be too worried about the motion sickness stuff. And if I had one criticism would be when you're coming down, it is a very abrupt, you know, breaking when you are actually uh, heading into these stations. But going up is definitely the coolest part. It's almost a ride in and of itself. Any of these narrations. A couple videos ago, I did uh, say I wasn't a huge fan of Disney doing the vinyl stickers over the windows. And uh, that might be a little bit of a personal, uh, personal criticism I have just because uh, doing videos here, you can see with the D Cal, it is a little hard uh, to see out into the distance. All right, everyone, before we get back on the Hollywood Studios line, back to uh, reality here, we can take a look at some of the products that will be coming as part of the Disney Skyliner system. We can see we have a specially designed magic band here. There's magic in the air shirt. We also have a Skyliner 2019 hat. Uh, some other cool stuff. It looks like Disney is going to be doing toy die casts of the actual system and they're going to have the Toy Story one, the uh, ha Haunted Mansion one, and the Mickey and Minnie one, which I think are great choices for the decals that can go on these die casts. I am very excited about that as someone who has always loved the monorail die cast. There's also a mug which is pretty insane. Uh, we have some pins that look cool here. There's an opening day one, as you can see. We have a tumbler that's in the same style as the Magic Band, and we also have a shirt in that same style. And then if we move over to the other area, we can see we have the thing that everyone has been talking about, which is a Mickey Gondola Pop Vinyl uh, that is coming in November. I wonder how much that's gonna cost. I think that's gonna be like the Alice teacup one, probably around 60 bucks. Uh, but hopefully they make a lot of those because that would be awesome to have. And it looks like we also have a special DVC magic band which is themed like the decal of the Mickey gondola. So much cool stuff. We don't even have pass holder stuff. If you're a pass holder, you can also get the Star Wars uh, Chewy one uh, for the die cast that goes on the gondola. I'm interested to see if these are already gonna be pre-applied and there's gonna be different gondolas they're selling or if you're gonna be able to apply the stickers on directly. All right, let's do our final run here. All right. You can see the interior lighting is on in this gondola. You can see it on the ground here. It's actually pretty cool. So there's lights underneath the 
So everyone, that's gonna do it from here on the Disney Skyliner gondola. A little preview here. I'll be here opening day as well, uh, so we can see this thing open. Hopefully they'll have like a little ceremony and everything and actually see guests on it and see what it's like with all the guests on the system itself. Let me know what you guys thought of this look here, some of the views you can get, uh, what you thought of some of that uh, data here we got from the, the temperature, which looks like it's about the same inside and outside. Definitely a little breezier in here, as you can see with my hair moving around. So let me know what you guys think about all of that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with you here very, very soon. Live from Walt Disney World, this is Brayden. Have a magical day.